Okay, today what we're going to do is we're going to replace the battery in this little Cena 20S Bluetooth. And the problem that they're having with Bluetooths right now, these Cena 20s, is that the batteries go dead. Oh, the E means my wife's initial, but that's okay. Anyway, I just did mine and I replaced it. You can see the little red charging light is on on it right now. What happened was mine quit charging altogether. It was charging on a charger and something happened. I guess you can't leave it on too long or you will burn it out. I mean the battery. And so I had to replace the battery. And so today the job we have at hand is to replace the battery in my wife's Cena Bluetooth. Now you cannot buy the battery that is required for this Cena Bluetooth. Um, I'm going to open hers up and I'm going to show you what I bought in place of it. And it goes like this. First thing you're going to have to do is you're going to have to get a little tiny straight blade. You're going to get underneath this wheel, and it's going to be scary, trust me. You're going to pry up, and you'll hear little crackles the first time. This time it didn't because it's not the first time. Don't mess with those three screws. Flip this baby over. Open up your antenna. And you're going to need, zoom right in here, you're going to need this T8 little tiny Torx wrench or Torx screwdriver and you have five of these little screws right here I'm going to show you where they're at this is number one number two number three number four Number five. Okay, so as I get all these out, let me see if they're loose enough. Two of them dropped out. I have several more that need to come out more. Okay. I like to get these screws out so I don't end up taking a chance of losing one. Pretty easy to lose these little bitty guys. And if you do, good luck finding another one to replace it. I'm pretty sure it'll be hard to do if you lose one. So there's number five. Almost did it. There's number five. So what you're going to do then, I always put the antenna down because it makes it easier. You're going to lift this top off and be careful because these wires are connected. This is the old battery. I'm going to show you something. You see how this battery is all pushed out and bumped out? That's because it's been overcharged. So what we're going to end up doing is I have to come in here with my little needle nose and I'm going to pick that plug out of there. If you look at, whoops, sorry. If you look at the numbers on this, it's kind of hard to hang on to when it's all blowed out. You're going to notice that the part number for this battery to replace it is an XK752439. It's a 3.7 volt battery with 650 milliamps, 2.4 watt hours. And this battery was made in April 23rd of 2015. Now, I'm going to tell you right now, you can shop, you can look. I tried. You cannot find one by that part number. Fact of the matter is you can find some that are 500 milliamp, and if you put those in there, you're going to ask for trouble because your battery won't last very long. And in another, up, in another video, I'm going to do an upgrade on my speakers, and because the ohms are not exactly the same, we're going to find out that my battery will go dead quicker. So with this particular new battery I'm getting ready to put in there, let me show it to you. And I'm just cutting this little foil wrap open. I bought this online, had to go on YouTube. I want to, want to warn you, it's not exactly the same size. I've already replaced mine. Now I'm replacing my wife, so I know that it will work. It's very close. The original was a 650 milliamp hour. The new one I'm putting in is an 800 milliamp hour. So what I'm trying to say is this baby ought to last a lot longer. So I'm just going to show it to you all the way around. Now there is a problem with this. Even though this battery is bigger, better, fancier, and it's going to go right into the same hole that the other one came out of, I can drop that baby right in there and you can see it's going to fit. But guess what? My plug's the wrong plug. So Fortunately, we have black and we have red. And on this guy, we've got black and we've got red. 
And so I'm going to cut these wires and I'm gonna, and I'm gonna use uh, heat shrink and a soldering iron and I'm gonna solder them together and I'm gonna hook them up like that. I wanna just take a second and show you this looks kind of scary because this seal, first of all, you cannot damage this seal that goes around here or you're going to lose your water resistant qualities. I find it better not to unplug this plug. I did on mine, but it's okay. I want to go into mine again. I want to show you that I have the little red charging light on. When I was originally charging mine, I had no light, no blue, no red. I could not power it up. Now it powers up and the light showing that it's powered on lights up just fine. So this one was working, but we're getting ready to take a long trip. And before we take this long trip, I want to make sure it stays working. So we're going to now go out to the shop. I'm going to cut these wire leads and we're going to splice these together. And we should be ready to go here in just a moment. Can you go ahead? Okay, here we are. I'm getting ready to snip the ends. I want to leave plenty of tail on the old battery. And just in case, because sometimes when you go to stripping wires, things don't work out right. Boy, did you see that spark? That thing still had some juice. This, by the way, was the old battery that came out of mine. This battery was, I had to poke the, the foil because it was like this one, but it was way bloated out. Now, the problem you could run into with this new 800 milli milliamp battery is there might not be quite as much room for it to expand like this if you overcharge it. So you're going to have to be careful from now on. Okay, I'm going to cut this end off of this one. Wait, wait, let me make sure I got it right. Okay. Cut once. And don't cut it too short. I don't like that old saying that says I cut it off three times and it's still too short. Anyway, so what I'm doing is I'm stripping back my ends on my battery so that I can solder my little plug end onto it. Set that down, and this is the little plug end. I gotta do the same thing. Now this is a real fine wire, so that's why I told you to cut extra, because if you don't cut extra, you might find yourself with a problem. And it looks like I did okay. So, okay, here we go. Now one thing I highly recommend is I always use flux on these things when I put them together. It makes my, my ends come together more correctly and more better, whatever you want to call it. And so I put a little flux on each wire end. That makes the solder stick better and makes things work better. Okay, I'm going to set all that down, get myself ready to go. First thing I'm going to do is I'm going to tin my, my leads. I'm putting a little bit of flux on those as well. And I'm going to tin that. Oh, 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 no, I'm not. I'm going to stop. I messed up. First thing I'm going to do is I'm going to cut myself some heat shrink tubing. And I want to make it a little bit short, shorter than this wire is, so that I have room to work without it shrinking on me while I'm soldering it. Okay, so here's another little piece right here. And I'm going to slip it on here onto this negative wire. So now when I get all soldered on, I'm ready to go. If you don't put heat shrink tubing, you could stand a chance to shorten something out, and you don't want to do that. Now i got to give this iron a minute to heat up. It's kind of temperamental and slow. So we'll take a break for a second while we do this, and it should be getting close. Here we go. It's starting to smoke. That's a good sign. So I'm getting ready to tin my wire ends. Okay, wait a minute, got to get a little better on there. Yeah, vision ain't so good in my older age, so, but that's okay. So now I'm going to put a little extra on there. This is my negative is going to go on first. So it's, it's on there. Next one we'll do is the positive. It's a little bit difficult working with these tiny little wires, but you'll do it. Don't worry, it's easy. You can do this. If I can do it, you can do it. And I have, I got four eyes. I got glasses on, so to speak. So if I can do it, you can do it. I'm telling you. You want to make sure you don't solder your wires together. You'll end up with a mess, and you'll end up undoing it and starting over. So here we go. 
So now they're soldered together, as you can see. And yes, I do have a little wire sticking out. That's okay. I'm going to pull my heat shrink tubing over it. And just check this out now. I've got this little handy dandy little torch. It's a little tiny one. And I go real careful. You don't want to overheat or you could burn through your insulation on your wires. So all I'm doing is shrinking that on. Now the integrity. Whoops, wait a minute. Got to do just a little bit more on this guy. Want to make sure they're good and tight. So that there's no chance that if any water got in there that you could have a short. You don't want to have any problems with that. So we're going to go back in the house and I'm going to assemble this unit so you can see how it's done. So here we are back at the desk. I want you to take a look at these two tiny little holes in here. And it just almost seems the opposite because you look over here and you see the metal, but you want to look for the little holes and you want to look for these little electrodes in here. And you're going to want to, I, I got to use the pliers because my fingers are big and fumbly. And so you're going to just plug that baby in like so. Wait a minute, I'm not doing something right. Yes, I am. I'm going to get it here this time. And so there it is. It's plugged in. Now, the next thing I did was I took my battery and I worked it back in there. My excess wire, I just kind of stuck it in like, I, like you see me doing. Got to make sure this seal's in the right place before you do anything. Because if this seal gets off, your little calm is going to end up leaking water. And while they're not waterproof, they are water resistant. And so this little guy fits right in there just barely. So now we're going to put the top back on. And you want to hear it snap down. Something's in the way. So I've got to undo it and recheck what I've got in the way. Well, I see here. Let's get that out of the way there. Put it up. My seal's not right takes a second or two to get the, you know what I did on the other one was I flipped it over this way let me try it the same way and then snaps on down I think you heard the snap the next thing is putting all these little screws back in there's only five of them it's not too terribly bad so we're gonna tighten these five screws down you, you don't want to get them over tightened or you could strip them out so my recommendation is you tighten them just as tight until you get them snugged up. And then a little oomph, not much. Come on, baby, get in there. I never was good at working on watches. I could be good at tearing them up, but I couldn't fix them. But hopefully I'll fix this and not tear it up. Okay. You'll feel it bottom out when it gets tight. Once it bottoms out, don't force it. You're okay. That means you're, you've got your seal made up. And here we go. Put this guy in. So, so far, this is the third screw I put in. I've got two more left. I've got a screw right here. It's going to go in. And then you say, hey, where'd the last screw go? Because this can happen to you real easy. So you got to kind of be watching. You pop your antenna up. And right underneath the antenna goes one more little screw. By the way, you see that looks kind of like a screw right there on the antenna? Don't mess with that. You'll get in big trouble if you do. So just, yeah, you don't even want to touch nothing that I didn't show you to touch. So here we are. We're back together again. Now we put the wheel on. And all you're going to do is just feel for that splines to line up. You're going to snap it down. And it still snaps. You, you can hear it popping. So I hold down and power it up, and guess what? Voila, my brand new battery is low. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna go ahead and shut it off and put it on the charger. And suit, so, well, here on, let me turn it off. Okay, now it's off. Okay, I'm gonna put it on the charger, and in a couple few hours, it, maybe it'll be charged enough for me to try it out, see how it's gonna work. I want to recommend if you do this, you're going to need to make sure you get the right, the right battery number. And I did show you what numbers were on the battery. I'm not going to tell you who to go to to buy it because if I tell you who to buy it from, you're going to buy the wrong battery. And I did not get it from China. I want to tell you that. I bought it in here in the United States. It took three days to get to me. So there's no excuse to have to buy it from China. Both batteries, to, I think each one was $9.98, so it was under $20. 
yeah, under $20, and shipping was free. So I want to encourage you, don't be afraid to change your battery on this Bluetooth. And I want to, I really want to admonish Cena for not having these batteries in stock. I want to tell you right now, if you go to Cena, they cannot provide you a battery for this little Bluetooth. They will tell you it is non-serviceable. Don't mess with it. Well, I just showed you that it is serviceable. And see right here, it's a Cena 20S. And, and I'm going to tell you, the comm is okay. I don't really like the speakers on it. You can't really hear it when I get one ear working. I can't hear the other ear. They're way far and distant. And even though I have a gold wing with a windscreen and everything and a full face helmet, it's still hard to hear. So my recommendation to you, the next thing I'm getting ready to do is I just went online and I bought these Panasonic headset, headphones, brand new headphones. I think I gave 17 bucks for them, free shipping. They sent them to me. I had those in three days. I'm going to tell you what I'm getting ready to do is I'm getting ready to cut out the speaker on that, see how it'll go in my in my helmet, and we're going to that'll be a different one. I just wanted to let you know that's what we're going to be doing next. So it's been real good. I hope you enjoy it. If you like this video, I want to ask you to subscribe, or I want to ask you to at least like it, please. Thank you.